Well, welcome back, everybody, to the adventures of Trafin Zalahid here in Morrowind. We have just spoken to Nibbany Mesa here in the previous episode, and she's been sending us on a quest to go fulfill the next portion of the seven trials to become Nerevarine. So what we need to be doing today, and we will be doing a lot today, rest assured, as we are going to be heading around the various camps of the map and looking for, excuse the uh, the ear rape from the ash storm, looking for these camps here. Now, these camps are going to be where we were going to find the other Ashlanders, the Velothi, and we have one that has named us Nervarine, and now we need to go to three more. And then we have to go to the three major houses. One is in Aldrun, one is in Vivek, I believe, and then I can't actually recall where the third one is, but we need to get all of them to acknowledge us as Hortator, which is basically the uh, the leader of their house. Uh, unite the houses, unite the tribes, and then they will deem us Nerevar. Here we are in the Zeynab camp. Make our way over to the Ashkan and talk to them. You are welcome to our hospitality. News of the outside, very good. Well, how about if you liked me just a little bit more? Uh, that would be nice as well. He's not really giving me much, but what if I say Nerevarine prophecies? We know of the prophecies. I believe, uh, I think that I may be. Nerevarine sent me to a task, good sir. He wants me to kill a vampire in the Nerano Ancestral Tomb. Um, I think we can manage that. And here we are, the Nerano Ancestral Tomb. Now we're definitely gonna need to be careful about how we go about this. Another bone walker, gosh, dang it, man. Ate the freaking bone walkers. He hit me too. Ugh. I really need to get some restore strength. At least these guys are just skellies. I don't have to be as paranoid about them. They're not gonna set me back. The only thing, that, my genuinely greatest weakness is uh, is the greater bone walkers. What's going on in here? Rusty key to Indurnton tomb. Okay. And the Nerano chest, huh? Okay. Amulet of recall. Nice. I already got the spell, but or sure. here's our vampire friend. What you got? What you got? Hmm? Oh, he's fast too. He's very fast. Oh, he hit me. He got, <laughs> he's using the drain life on me. Vampires are no joke, man. Those eyes are so creepy though. I see him from a mile away. There we go. Those eyes are so creepy. Oh my gosh. Wow. This armor is, is, is literally useless. There's nothing in here. Wow. Well, that's a bummer. I was hoping for at least some loot. Hey, regardless, let's head back to the Xanam camp. Well, that was pretty easy. Let's see here. I have killed the vampire, yes. And you dirty dog, you're going back on your on your guarantee there. And he wants us to get him a highborn Telvani bride. Pretty one, plump, with big hips to bring me many sons. Oh, okay. Let's go talk to the wise woman, see if she can give us some uh, help with this. Oh, she's old. Got an old lady face. Well, yeah, could you help me? I need your counsel here. Go to my friend, Seville Imin. Slave mistress, and we're going to buy a slave and present her as a highborn Telvani bride. Telarun. Okay. Well, to Telarun we go. And here we are. Sevilla Imayan, or however that is pronounced. How about something special? Exquisite clothes and bring them to me. Head over to Telmora and Elgin the Clothier. Very nice things. Okay. So we need an exquisite shirt, skirt, and shoes. You can do that. Just one boat ride away, and we can make our way over to uh, our friend the Clothier. Hello there, Elganan, or however that is pronounced. Give me some exquisite clothing. Let's go with one exquisite shirt, one exquisite skirt, and one set of exquisite shoes. Not too bad of a price, but I do believe we need at least one more thing while we're here, uh, being a special type of drink called the Telvani Bugmus. It's not a not a drink, what am I saying? It is like a perfume. The Telvani Bug Musk. And I assume that uh, that we will have it here. Let's see here. Telvani Bug Musk. Yes. Fortify personality, 40 points is actually kind of significant. Let's be honest. But uh, yeah, now we'll head on back and uh, head over to, to, to Tel Arun and see if we can get that slave bot. Not for me. I don't buy slaves. I don't believe that. I promise. I may be a dark elf, but I am not a slavery apologist. Hello, Sevilla. Let's go talk about something special. Yes. Uh, go to the apothecary in Telmora. Well, I happen to have that. Let me buy her for 1,200 drakes. That is totally fine. I could try to talk her down, but I don't really care a whole lot. And the slave pawn key to this dark elf woman here. She's mine. Hello. 
Falura, I'm freeing you, I promise you. Looks down at the ground, waiting for you to speak. All right, Sarah, let us... Uh, so I do have some presents for you, so let's go ahead and give you that. And you can travel with me to the Zainab camp. Let's go, shall we? It's a bit of a hike, but I reckon we should be fine. I should probably have gotten her some uh, some water walking or something like that, but, you know, we'll take what we can get here. I do have the boots of blending speed, so I keep outrunning her. And, uh, yeah, gotta love uh, grass mods in Morrowind. Lots of treacherous creatures along the path here, but overall, not too bad. We are almost to the camp, and uh reckon the rest will go pretty smoothly here in the grasslands. Or the grazelands, I think it's called, actually. Man, these quests are such a pain in the butt when you've got the boots of blending speed. Just constantly stopping and waiting. She may just follow me if I just made one straight run for it. I don't actually know how it works. Oh, do not want her to run into this ogrum. That thing is spooky. Those things are so big. Oh my gosh. Thing's got long nipples too. And here we go. To keep saying, hey, wait for me, but I brought her. She's here. Let's go talk to the Ashkan, your new husband. Thank you. Yes, yes, Sarah. My bridegroom, very distinguished looking, isn't he? A bit severe, perhaps, but the lines on his face there show that he likes to smile. I can spare a few moments. All right, I've brought you your Telvanni bride. You now must name me Nerevarine and give me a thong, I suppose. Sounds good, man. Detect animal 150 feet for five seconds. Wow, thank you so much. But with one down, that means we've got two more to go. Next camp is down right around here on the corner. Oh, hello there. I have been attacked by a Dark Brotherhood assassin. Let's go. Okay. Well, looks like it might be time to head over to, uh, to, uh, whatchamacallit eventually. Somebody nerfed the prices of the, the Dark Brotherhood stuff. Sad. I was just back in my house getting some rest, making a spell here. Water walking other because we have another, um, escort quest here and it's going to go over water and I figured let's just... Get that over with, give them water walking, and let them do their thing. I, I really can't be asked to fight all the slaughterfish. No, I'm a dingus. I definitely made it water walking on self. Yeah, whatever. So what do you guys say we make a little pit stop here on our way over to the camp and clear out a Daedra shrine? Always a good time to clear out some Daedra. What's going on down here? Daedra warriors? My goodness. And cliff racers? My goodness. Oh, he had a Daedra short sword. Nice. What you doing here? Ran me or the seal? Nothing? All right, well, see you in there, I guess. If not, we're good. Got some danger going in in here, though. No enemies, or no uh, human enemies, rather. This cave is dark, and it is definitely more than just a Daedric shrine. I wonder what could be going on in here. That is a uh, Daedric shrine, if I've ever seen one, like a Daedric prince shrine. I'm actually taking some damage in here too, gotta be careful. Okay, these guys are not screwing around. They had some some heat on them. An exquisite ring, I'll take that. Might be able to uh, to uh, get a, ooh, grand soul gem, extravagant robes. Okay, okay. So they had some cool stuff on them, but nothing super noteworthy. So what is this? This is a shrine to whom? I won't even let me use it. So I guess it doesn't matter. Iron saber, I'll take the Daedra heart. I like to kill the Daedra because they oftentimes have good loot on them, so. Yeah, like he had an Emony, Emony Scimitar on him. That's really very good. That is really good. Yeah, sadly, I don't think there's anything in here. I got my hopes up. Seeing how deep and dark it was in here, I figured there was something, but nah, no dice. Anyways, on to our camp. This next one will be the Ahamusa camp, and they should be right over this hill here. Here we are. Let's head on in and talk to their Ashkan and see what they have for us. There is no Ashkan in here. Well, let's head on over to the uh, the wise woman. See what she's got for me. Given courtesy first to my Ghoulicons. No, have you no manners? Well, who are your Ghoulicons? Your Ghoulicons are Kelsey, Herder the Initiate, Dutakl, Hunter the Brother. In <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, these names are insane. So it looks like I've got to make some friends before I can talk to her. You come to claim the name of Nerevrain? Well, I hope you do come to do the deeds of the Nerevrain. Yeah, I do as well. Led by a wise woman, we are her Ghoulicons. We say this with shame, for we are weak and helpless as children. Go to her outlander and tell her your deeds of a hero. Well, that was pretty easy then. I was thinking I actually needed to do something. They have sent for me. Now tell me, do I fulfill these Nerevarine prophecies? We know of these prophecies. Well, who is the Ashkan? We have no Ashkan. I am the wise woman, and I speak for our tribe. Sounds good. Uh, I want them to name me Nerevarine. We need to find a safe place for these people. Is that so? 
I first must go to Eld Daedroth, make it safe for you guys, and then return, and you will accompany me there. Sounds good. So, due north, where are we going? I'm always down to clear out Daedric Shrines. Usually pretty good loot in them, especially once you get to a higher level, and then you're spawning the high-level Daedra. They will drop really good weapons and stuff that you can just sell. Not that we really need much money. I mean, we've got 360k. <laughs> so, clearly money is not an issue for us. I just sell off random loot that I find, but yeah. Good for training, I suppose, and, you know, you can train all the way up to 99 in every single skill. Nothing stopping you. Either way, here we are. We need to kill you people? Who are you? Uh... No, you are the false incarnate devil of lies. Well, I don't think so, homie. No, no, no. He's got a greater bone walker. Oh, no. My one... My one major fear, actually. Greater bone walkers. Oh, he hit me, too. He hit me, didn't he? Ah, oh, son of a biscuit. All right, he's dead. Oh my gosh, my strength. Demon mace, huh? 10 grand? I will take it. Thank you. Sounds like there's a fight going on over here. I believe it's like Daedra fighting with like wizards or something. I don't actually know. No, stop it. Dang it. Stop the freaking bone walkers, man. There we go. Jeez, oh, Pete, I hate these bone walkers so much. Let's head on in and see if we can clear this place out real quick before we got to head back. Ugh, orcs. The worst. This guy's a Dunmer, though. So I don't know. A little bit of intermingling going on with these guys. Yeah, so these people are Daedric worshippers, and they're fighting with them. That is so interesting. And there's just, like, a ton of basically everything going on here. This chick's got glass on. And this is, like, Fargoth here. My goodness, this is crazy, actually. It's a shame I lost all my strength. I can barely pick anything up. Either way, we just need to run around and kill everyone in here. Shrine to Azura. This one's got a Daedric Longsword. I kind of want a Daedric Katana. I feel like they're the best in terms of, of damage, but no, it's a short sword again. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, it's nice. You can just grab all this stuff and you'll spawn an enemy eventually. Maybe? Yeah, it didn't look like it. I spawned one. It's good. Either way, let's continue clearing out the baddies. What's this one got? I don't know, but I want it. A dagger? Looks like it's got like a broken, broken icon or something. The Daedric Armor looks really good with this mod though. Ebony short sword. Eh, it's fine. I'll sell it. And the hunt continues into the inner shrine. I wonder how they have Indril. So these people must be with the temple then, if that's the case. They're, they're with the temple, but I swear they were summoning a uh, Daedra. Uh, here, speaking of Daedra, how about a golden saint with a glass longsword? A glass claymore. My goodness. Ah, uh, good old Sheogorath, the mad god himself. Very cool. It is nice that there's just like a big free for all going on because I don't have to do nearly as much. They're killing each other for the most part. Hate to do a dirty level, but you know, it is what it is. This shrine is enormous though. My goodness. We got to go all the way into the very middle of it, the innermost sanctum or whatever you call it. And then and only then we will be able to uh, be claim the Nerevarine of this, uh, of this camp here. Looks like there's lots of fighting going on around us. So much noise. Gotta kill the one who's got the freaking bone walker. I don't want to deal with the bone walker, man. Not the freaking bone walker, man. Hit the other guy. Thank you. A Nord, huh? Ah, very cool. Lots of baddies in here. My goodness. And another golden saint. My goodness. With an ebony shield. Very cool. Ebony shields are nice. They're really cool looking. And a Daedric dagger. Heck yeah, bro. That very well may be it. One or two more, I reckon, and then we're done. Yeah. Elite ordinators, huh? Interesting. So there's a bit of purging of heresy going on by the looks of it. Here's the last of them. Just up here. No, oh, son of a gun. I'm over encumbered. No, please. Please. I hate it. I hate it so much. Want a drink, buddy? Got anything you want? As long as it's Sujama? Sure. I'll drink a thing of Sujama with you and then I'm going to kill you. I didn't know that there were other scamps in the game that weren't Creeper that, you know, spoke to you. Yeah, my strength has been sapped pretty heavily. I think it's down 30 uh, from what it should be. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get that back up. They're telling me to make it safe. As far as I know, I've killed everything in here. So it should be good, but I don't know. As far as I know, it is clear. So I think we'll make our way back there. Oh, there's one of my potions there. Now I need two more to get my strength back to where it should be. Ugh. Actually, now that I mention, I'm fairly sure you can just pray at a shrine. It will restore your points. I could be wrong. I would love to uh, restore my attributes. Oh, well, ah, much better. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, good, good, good. Good to know. Looks like we are not done, actually. Wait. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Accompany me. Yes, please. Please accompany me. Okay, good. I panicked for a second. I was like, oh, no. Do I need to go back? Oh, this chick's walking on the water anyways. Nice. 
I actually didn't know she did that. That's funny. All right, we should be able to just go inside. Should be good to go then. I don't know if these rats are considered like hostile by her or something, but either way. Let's go inside and see if that finishes a dialogue, yeah? Okay, it looks like she wants to go into the inner shrine. We can do that, no problem. Yep, looks like we got it. Okay, cool. Uh, name me Nerevarine the Madstone of Ahamusa. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's see if I can spawn a Daedra here. Nope. No luck. Oh, just kidding. I did. <laughs> Easy game. This one's got an Ebony Scimitar as well. We're going to probably mess around with some Ebony stuff with some enchanting. I've heard it's quite powerful with Ebony. But yeah, with that done, we only have one more to go, which is pretty exciting. Oh no, I was using Divine Intervention, Om Simi Intervention, now I'm all the way over here in like this um, uh, Tamriel Expanded or Tamriel Rebirth landmass. I don't want to be here. I have no doubt it's very cool and well made, I just... not right now at least. Here we are at uh, the Erebenson Cap. These names are so crazy, I really do struggle with them. But either way, let's talk to our Ashkan and see what we can come up with. You think that they are foolish superstition? Don't bother us with this nonsense. What if I uh, give you a little bit of money, huh? Nope, he's he's not interested. What do I do about this, huh? No one cares about that. You make us tired, go away. Gosh, dang it, bro. What about you guys, huh? We know about these prophecies. Our Ashkans and Gulakans say that they're foolish superstition. There will be trouble if you speak with them. Perhaps you should speak to our wise woman. Well, yeah. let's try that. The wise woman, as usual, is the one who we need to be speaking with because she's not going to just kick us away. Hello, Miss Wise Woman. Would you like to give me counsel? Yes, I warn you, be wary of his supporters. They hate outlanders and love nothing more than to kill and loot them. My goodness, they are bad men and bad leaders and you should fear them. But I fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies. Uh-oh. Peace loving. Oh gosh, what does this mean? All right. Eliminate him and his supporters. Just come speak with me. Uh-oh. <laughs> so we're going to have to uh, kill him and his bodyguard. Ahaz. Uh, but I would kill Ulukan Ahaz first. Okay. Weaker of the two. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do that. Peace through war, I suppose. All right. Well, it's uh, it's time to lay the smack down. Is that a glass axe? My man's got a glass axe. Okay. He's got something on him. 71 long blade as well. Heck yeah, bro. I will uh, take that, War Axe. Let me see here. That is a uh, Fortify Strength. 15 to 30 points for 15 seconds. That's not bad. I'll take my money back that I bribed you with, too. You were, uh, you were an absolute clown. All right, well, peace in our time and all that. Let's go talk to the wise woman. Oh, we also need to get rid, rid of Ranabi and Ashu. Ah, hey. Okay, cool. I can do that. This man's got a, got a built-in shield. He's cheating. And he's healing? What's going on here? My man. I broke his shield. Let's go. <laughs> I broke his shield. That's awesome. And one more to go. You don't even have armor, homie. What you gonna do with no shield? Yeah, not much. Bone Dancer Gauntlet, huh? Fortify Agility and Shield of 10 points. It's actually not bad if I wanted it earlier, but doesn't do much for me now when I got the Fist of Randigulf. Now that they are dead, we may consider Nerevarine prophecies. Now that they are out of the way, a simple matter to be named Nerevarine. Be prepared, however. So it appears that they are going to need a new Ashkan. And we're going to have to help them pick one. Han Amu is the son of the former chief. He is nothing like his father. His birth gives him a strong claim to be leader of the tribe. All right, cool. Well, let's go talk to him then. You're probably a little, a little upset with me. And that's understandable. But I want you to know, you do want to be Ashkan. I will give you a little speech and you will accept that. Thank you. Thank you. And now you should make me Nera Vereen, right? Wait, no, he just wants to be left alone. Well, let's go talk to her. See if there's anything she can give me some advice or something. Oh, I see. So I think I need to get the uh, the the things off of the bodies of these other guys. It's a good thing I didn't get rid of their bodies or something, right? I feel like that could have been kind of bad. So some willpower, yep. This amulet will give you power. What about it now? He still says no. My goodness. Oh, I missed this one. The shield effect might be useful for him. Of course, the gauntlets are going to be useful. And in fortify intelligence. That's definitely the right move. Okay, now we should be good to go. I will give you this... Uh, this robe, now you will be Nerevarine, or you will name me Nerevarine. Thank you, thank you. Ha ha! So, with that, we are now Nerevar. Well, at least we are being recognized as Nerevarine by all four camps, and I think that that is a great place to call it for today. The Velothi of the island of Ardenfell have officially named us, Trafin Velahi, as Nerevarine, and now we just need to unite the great houses under the 
title of Hortator to fulfill the final portions of our prophecies that we need to start down this slippery slope that will lead to the end of the plague that is Orbis Sickness here, led by none other than the head of the sixth house, Dagath Ur. If you guys are enjoying and you want to see more, make sure you leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes.